Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 28th of 2025 is titled Collision at Asteroid Dimorphos. So what do we see here? Well, here we're going to see a very short video clip running only a couple of seconds, and we'll take a look at it on repeat coming up. But what we're going to see here is actually two objects, and this is from 2022. Now, there are two objects in the image. We're going to see the larger is the asteroid itself known as Didymus, and that is the asteroid, and it has a moon. The moon is Dimorphos. Dimorphos, the smaller of the two here, is the one that was crashed into by the DART spacecraft back in 2022. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, the whole idea was really to see if we could change the orbit of the moon by a predictable amount. So, could we smash this into it, this craft into it, with a certain velocity and then find out if we could adjust the orbit correctly the way we wanted to. And the idea was that this is then something that could be used were an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. That would be a way to slightly redirect it. Now, if the asteroid is far enough away, it doesn't take a whole lot to change it from a direct hit on Earth to completely missing Earth altogether. Now, let's go ahead and watch this clip, and I'm just going to put it on repeat here, and I've actually slowed it down, so if you actually go to the APOD website, it runs a little bit faster. This slows it down a little bit to give you a little bit better image of it. Now, you'll see two objects there in this video clip. The larger of the two is the asteroid itself, and the smaller with all of the material coming off of it, and you can see all those streams of material, is the asteroid is Dimorphos. That is the moon that was run into by the spacecraft. And the material then was expelled out into space in that impact. Now that's one thing we're imaging here, but other things that were done was to map the orbit and find out how much the orbit changed. Now the idea here was to ram the craft into it at a specific velocity, at a specific angle, and at a specific position in its orbit, and then we could, should be able to calculate how much the orbit would change. And one of the things we're finding is that we weren't right, is that our analysis says that the effects were a little bit different than what we expected. And that's something that we're going to want to study because we want to be able to know exactly how we're going to be changing the orbit of an object. We don't want to change something that might have been, you know, barely a hazard into a significant hazard by changing it by the wrong amount. Now, we are not yet done studying this. The HERA mission to the asteroids here will actually study this again and hopefully give us a better idea of what may have happened here. Now, if you're wondering how we got an image of this when the spacecraft crashed into the asteroid, first of all, there's no way we could image it this close from Earth. The asteroid is far too small and far too far away to be able to seen, be seen as anything other than a dot of light. However, a camera was ejected uh, on a separate craft to monitor this so that we could look at it up close and then monitor that and send that back to Earth so we could actually see the results of what happened here. So the future study uh, coming up in 2026 with the HERA mission will have possibly confirm either that we didn't quite change this the way we thought we did or we may find out that the initial measurements were wrong, and that's something we will hopefully be finding out over the next couple of years. So that was our picture of the day for July 28th of 2025. It was titled Collision at Asteroid Dimorphos. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be I, Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.